A nice, simple one for today, but I was convinced that you couldn't do this, uh, but it's actually really straightforward. So today we're going to look at adding and reordering VST plugins in DaVinci Resolve. So let's assume you're in the color screen like this at the moment. Uh, if you want to add a VST, click on the Fairlight button at the bottom, and you're put in funnily enough, into the Fairlight page. And if we move over to the mixer on the right-hand side, well, you have to add the VST plugin, obviously, onto the track that you're going to use the VST plugin on. And it's added here through the effects section. So if you click on this plus here, it all gets pretty small down here. Uh, but if you click on the plus button, then you get a choice of either your Fairlight effects or your VST effects. And if you haven't got anything in your VST effects, then make sure they're set up appropriately by going up to DaVinci Resolve and into uh, Preferences and then into Audio Plugins here. And then you can choose the directory where your VS plugins are kept and, uh, and enable or disable them as you wish. So I'm going to cancel on that because I've already done that. So click on plus and add a VST effect into here. And I'm going to just add a um, T-Rex Classic EQ. And then I'm going to add a brick wall limiter as well, which is actually the right order. Um, I would probably want my brick wall limiter after my EQ. But um, in this case, I'm going to assume that I don't. But there's no obvious way to kind of change these because once you're in here, you can click you know, you can, uh, if you close down the windows here with the actual VSTs on, you can get back into the settings by clicking on this tiny weeny settings button here. It's crazy. You can kind of enable or disable them here. And then, you know, it's all, oh, I wish this was a bit more prominent. I really do. Maybe there's some other way of getting it a little bit more prominent. But um, yeah, so you can click into the settings here, but there's no way of moving these around or dragging them about. So here's how you do that bit. If you move to the top right hand side of the screen here, make sure you've got this inspector open. And what you'll find is that you actually have the settings within there. And if you if you don't have that showing, so if you maybe only have this showing, so your kind of standard Fairlight uh, EQ stuff or you know your clip volume and things like that, then go to your track header here on the left hand side. So in this case, I've got the plugins on audio one. Just double click on this on this little sort of uh, A1 here. And this opens up your inspector, but the inspector for the plugins. So now if you click on these tiny arrows here, you can shift them around. And you can see if you look closely here on the top of the fader there, the actual uh, mixing desk, if you like, uh, you can see those shift about as I move the arrows up or down. And that is how you move your VST plugins around and how you add them in DaVinci Resolve. Nice and simple, really, but just not obvious enough. Come on, guys, make this stuff more obvious and more accessible, because that is fiddly. But this, once you get into it, is a lovely way of adjusting your settings. I love, the, love this, because, you know, it's just a really user-friendly way of adjusting your settings. Anyway, hope that's useful. Thanks for watching. See you soon.